Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm going from Busan in South Korea to Nagasaki in Japan in F4U1 Corsair. Uh, it did give me a warning initially and the texture on the wing definitely does not look right. I thought it was supposed to be a deeper blue, but uh, well we'll see. I mean I want to fly an F4 Corsair and this is the only one I've got right now. Uh, so we'll make do. It seems... Well, we'll have to see. It's got a Jolly Roger flag on the nose. It was a, it had a Jolly Roger texture name. So that's good, I guess. But yeah, a little bit of an odd color seems a bit washed out. Anyway, we are going to continue with the Apollo 13 audio as we left off. So pressing play on that. And we continue. This is Apollo Control, 60 hours, 21 minutes, ground elapsed time. At the present time, the flight dynamics officer here in Mission Control is computing a maneuver to place Apollo 13 back on a free return trajectory within the next uh, hour. The maneuver would likely come at about 61 uh, hours, ground elapsed time. The uh, lunar module primary guidance and navigation system, so-called PINGS, will be left powered up for the next hour and then powered down uh, to conserve water which is used for cooling the electronics in the system. We'll stand by as uh, this next maneuver is uh, generated and passed up well, to the lots crew. Lots of lift on this. Having A little some bit suspicious. Problem as the spacecraft drifts through the various uh, omni antenna look angles. The high gain antenna has not been powered up to conserve electrical power. At 60 hours, 22 minutes ground elapsed time, standing by, this is Apollo Control. Hello, Houston, Aquarius, how do you read? Hello there, Aquarius, loud and clear. Help me now. Okay, we're reading you loud and clear, Jack. I hope it stays this time. Okay, we'd like to brief you on uh, what our plan is. Uh, we're at this time uh, water critical in the limb, so we'd like to use as little as possible. To do this, we're going to plan to make a uh, free return uh, maneuver of 16 feet per second at 61 hours which is 37 minutes from now. Then we're going to power down the pings, and then we'll, uh, at 79 hours, we'll go ahead and uh, make another abort maneuver to uh, kick what we got, but we'd like to uh, get that pings power down as soon as possible. That'd be after the mid-course, and uh, so how do you feel about uh, making a 16 foot per second burn in 37 minutes? Yeah, weird textures. Actually, the wing one on this side is oh, looking better now. I guess it depends on the lighting. Got, uh, hmm. That's a 16 uh, foot per second dip burn in 37 minutes. Roger, uh, we're working up a pad for it, but uh, we'd want to know uh, what you think about doing it at that time. Well, we'll do it. Can you give us a little bit more time? Okay, Jim. Uh, We'd like to get a suggested time from you. Uh, we can figure out a uh, free return maneuver for any time you want to give us. So uh, if you'll uh, give us the time you'd like to shoot for, we'll figure out a pad. OK, that sounds good. Uh, I think if we have a little bit more time, we want to do it right. Uh, stand by one. for an hour if we can, Jack. How's that? Okay, Jim, how about uh, 61 hours and 30 minutes? That's an hour and five from now. Okay, we'll do it. We want uh, to be sure we talk back and forth now to make sure we get this burn off right. Affirmed. 
Okay, in the interim, Jack, uh, I looked around again and I saw that we have a uh, radar and a landing radar uh, heater breaker in. Uh, can I pull those out? Affirmative, pull them both out. And uh, now we want to ask you a question about uh, alignments and so forth. We wanted to know if you can uh, see any stars out of the AOT. We also wanted to know if you could uh, use the service module to cast a shadow on the limb windows and then look out the windows Whoa, to see stars for P-51. Go S alignment. So, leaving South Korea okay, here. Okay, in this attitude, Jack, that uh, we're pitching around, uh, I cannot use the AOT to see stars. We, uh, we're just not able to see them at all. Now, we may be able to maneuver off and yaw or and or roll and see stars. Right now we haven't been able to, the AOT is useless. The uh, command module uh, structure is just radiating too much light into the uh, into the uh, telescope. This should a pretty, be a pretty short flight. Okay, and uh, how about uh, using the service module to cast a shadow on the uh, commander's window? Uh, if you do that, can you see stars for COAS alignment? Less than an hour, I think. But well, some of it will be over water. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, although I don't know how successful it will be, uh, we try to do it. The light shines off our uh, quads, which makes it difficult to see stars. We do have the uh, Earth and Moon, and that could be of assistance. Another problem uh, right now, Jack, I'm looking out the right window, and it's uh, pretty uh, dark out that window, but there are about uh, a thousand or so false stars out here from uh, leftover from uh, some of the debris. It's, uh, it's hard to discern what's the real and not real. Okay, that's uh, good information, and uh, during the time that we see your... Uh Continuing to pitch, if you ever get in a position where you think the AOT might be of some use, uh, we'd like you to periodically uh, look out of it and uh, see if you can see some stars that would enable us to get a P-52. That's the platform alignments for okay, the we'll do, and inertial also, measurement unit. Let me ask you a question. Uh, in this configuration, Doc, we have to use the TTCA to control pitch and roll. And... Uh, it's how much can we use that without really changing our trajectory. Uh, we only have 60 miles to play with. Roger, uh, we'll put that to him. Okay, uh, Jack, are you ready to go to work with me on the uh, two-hour dips uh, activation and uh, contingency book page one? Roger, uh, we're ready to go. We're approaching an island that's sort of in the middle of okay, South Korea uh, and Japan. One, I don't know the name can, of it right uh, now. It's got a Japanese name, off. so I suppose it's uh, possession of Japan. Stand by one, Fred. I know a reading of the kanji, but I doubt that that's the correct reading of the kanji okay, for that. Okay, let's go ahead. Step one, page one. Everybody's listening. Okay, I've uh, looked around and uh, I've uh, essentially done uh, steps one through five, uh, with the exception of floodlights and utility lights, and I think we'll just do without those. Roger, your choice. Okay, on EPS activation, uh, we're through uh, step, uh, we're through that bottom of that page. That's all done. We concur, page two. Okay, in essence, uh, we've uh, circumvented uh, step four, and we're now sitting with all four uh, decent bats on uh, high voltage steps, so I'll scratch off step four. Roger, and in step five, we want to leave inverter one circuit breaker open. 
Roger, and step five, we'll leave inverter one, uh, CB open. Omit step six. Okay, for the time uh, being, uh, our mission timer is the uh, computer, so uh, mission timer activation, uh, scratch off. Roger. Okay, we've done the uh, primary uh, glycol loop uh, activation. We verify it. Aquarius, we recommend uh, you leave the caution warning off on page three. Okay, I was gonna say that next, uh, page uh, three, we'll just scratch uh, item one. It's and, a little bit wiggly. Uh, item two, I've uh, already got the RCS. And sometimes uh, it goes much on. higher up in speed than I would expect. And, uh, I don't it's know It's possible it was made in X-Plane 10, the and the dynamics have sort of changed. Open. We got the time. Well, the insignia isn't looking right on that side, so I'll go okay, for the shadowed side, the, even uh, though it's not the best to have it shadowed. Then again, maybe more cin cinematic, so just that. Uh, Fredo, did you close the uh, engine control breaker on panel 11? Uh, what control is that, Jack? Did you close the uh, S and C? Engine control breaker on uh, panel 11 as we got step one there on page three. Okay. The okay, yes, uh, the EPS uh, descent ECA control breaker is closed on 11. Roger, and how about the, on panel 11, S and C engine control closed. Aft Omni, Fred. Okay. We're at Romney and uh, we have the S&C uh, engine control breaker closed. Roger, uh, let's go on with the uh, circuit breaker panel checkout. Okay, I'll just give you, I think it'll be easier to give you what I got in. Okay, in the top row on 11, we have the uh, four AC bus tie breakers in and the AC bus bolt breaker in, and that's it. Second row, we have the four TCA breakers in. We have the GASTA under flight displays and Commander's FDAI. And likewise, so under AC right bus here. A, we have a GASTA and a and Commander FDAI breaker in. That's it. You can see. South Korea up there, and we're right in the middle of South Korea uh, and Japan. Three. Japan we is down here. And, one. Well, that's not quite where we want to we be. We have the Atka Ping. But we have the uh, engine control breaker, attitude direct control breaker. Really, the breaker. flight can basically fit on the end game the, uh, map, the which is rare. Component breaker in. Uh, and one other, ED Logic Power A. ED Logic Power A is also in. Copy. Okay, under uh, the fourth uh, fourth row, we got all the quad heater breakers in, fan one. Under ECS, uh, glycol one and two. And uh, under COM, we have uh, Commander Audio in. And uh, PINGS, LGC, Jetski, IMU standby, IMU operate, and that's it. Okay, in the bottom row, EPS, we have the uh, back feet tie, both in. And we have the cross tie balance loads in. The uh, x lunar bus tie, decent ECA control, decent ECA, and the DC bus bolt breaker. Roger, we copy. It for panel 11. Okay, stand by. Okay.
As I uh, see it, some of the short ones are, uh, we need to deck a gimbal in sooner or later. That's affirmed to uh, close uh, the deck a gimbal. Probably, uh, Okay, deck a gimbal, and uh, sooner or later we're going to need deck a par, I guess, also. All right, uh, deck a par will come up later in the procedure, Fredo. Okay. Aquarius Houston, on your circuit breaker checklist on panel 11 and 16, we want you to configure the panels as outlined in the checklist. Okay. You want us to uh, configure as per uh, checklist. Okay, we'll do that. That's right. Uh, close the black ones and open the white ones. <laughs> close the black ones and open the white ones. Yeah, I think we can manage that. <laughs> the activation power up, we're starting right now. Uh, Houston, we might as well leave our RCS DCAs in, right? Affirmative, Jim, leave your uh, RCS DCAs yes, in on panel 11. Uh, yeah, I just uh, used my Pentel pen and made those white ones uh, black ones. Roger, same on 16, Fred. Roger. And you might look there, uh, Houston, to see what circuit breakers aren't required, like the tape recorder. We're looking. Okay, uh, Jim, on panel 11 over there, you can also leave open the rendezvous radar heater breaker and the landing radar heater breaker, in addition to the tape recorder. Well, I guess there aren't going to be any command module tapes or lunar module tapes from when they stop the tape recorder, obviously. I'm leaving a few in, Jack, too, like the suit fan one is still in, the uh, RCS system is still in, the TCAs. Attitude direct control is in. Roger. How about I believe the VHF A and B off? Uh oh, static. Switch to uh, forward opting. I think there was probably much more static that I cut out there. Okay, we can leave the uh, VHF power down too. And do you want the secondary S-band? Negative on secondary S-band, leave them open. Up data link is in. Uh, do you want that in or out? I wonder where they figure these. Uh, the the wing lights are obviously misplaced Leave right the now. Leave the up data link open. We'll call for it when we want you to put it in. Some interesting stuff going on with this particular plane. This is Apollo Control. 60 hours, 44 minutes ground elapsed time. Distance from Earth, 187,006 miles. Velocity 3,089 feet per second. Flight dynamics people still computing the mid-course correction to go back to a uh, free return trajectory. Here in mission control, the coffee cup has uh, become a, an appliance second only to the headset in uh, usefulness here. And uh, <laughs> on the uh, top row, uh, uh, do you really want the propulsion PQGS and SN helium rigs? And
And also uh, the system engineer, X pointer breaker. Roger, a negative on the uh, PQGS. Negative on the SN helium rig. And negative on the cross pointer. Just in case it's not obvious, they're trying to figure out what they can cut power to okay, to save on the power. Okay, row, I'm going to leave the uh, floodlight uh, breaker open. Concur. And uh, we're again up to, uh, do you want uh, the CW enabled? Negative on the CW. Okay. Okay, uh, since uh, we're, uh, are we going to power up the eggs or should I concern myself with the uh, ATCA breaker? Negative on the eggs. However, Fred, we need the ATCA breaker in. Oh, this island seems somewhat populated, but I can't read its name in this case. Okay, at the break. I don't even know those kanji. Yeah, I guess for the backup power supply. Hey, how about at the eggs? Negative on at the eggs. And I'm leaving the uh, suit flow control breaker open. Seems like it's got the stock textures on it, which is... Let's close the uh, suit flow control. control. Uh, Fredo, it doesn't now. take any current. Okay. Without suits, it doesn't do as much good either, though. Oh. Apparently, there's a package problem for new Kita Kyushu. Okay, Install or update Mr. X package. The, I have uh, the Mr. The X package, jack, obviously, so that's very important for many sceneries. I guess I need to update it. Well, hopefully that doesn't mess up, mess up too much. Okay, in the Fredo, area. Uh, It shouldn't uh, be related to the, the airport we're landing at. The heater's on, so it looks like you ought to uh, open up. Com S band antenna, but leave uh, S band antenna heaters closed. Roger. Com S band is open. S band heater breaker is still closed. And on the uh, bottom row, uh, Jack, I'm going to leave the uh, heater display breaker out, which we uh, pulled before. And the EPS uh, display, uh, but I question: uh, Do we want the uh, asset ECA breaker in? It's prescribed. Stand by. That's a negative on the uh, SN ECA breaker. Leave it open. Aquarius, we need uh, pool uh, data. Uh, we'll uh, give you uh, state vector and uh, target load. Okay, we need the uplink uh, breaker in then now. That's affirmative. Okay, and Jack, will you give us that? Uh, uh, how about the ordeal breaker? Can I pull that? We don't need that, do we? Negative on the RDO, leave it open. And uh, how about the Athen ECA breaker on panel 11? Uh, Jim has it in over there. and ECA can be open. It's open.
Okay, Aquarius, we're going the uh, circuit breaker configuration as you have it now. So that is Kyushu in front of us. Roger. Um, so basically mainland Japan. And Aquarius, uh, testing the simulator just showed that uh, if you want to let the pings damp hold your attitude for you, it will. Okay, very well. And Jack, because it'll take quite a while to get back to the attitude, uh, I think guess that is the photo scene, which is rather fuzzy. Roger, I have a pad for you. I have a P-30 maneuver pad. Roger, uh, Nambai. Right ahead, right Jack. Okay, we want you to hold your maneuver until we finish uh, making the load. We haven't uh, completed it yet. You're ready to copy P-30 maneuver pad. That's the firm. Okay, here we go. The purpose is mid-course correction for free return. Down 33, zero, 061, two niner, 4284, minus zero, zero, 0213. Plus zero 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 four one minus zero zero three one two. H A and H P are in A. Delta V zero zero three eight zero zero three one one two zero two nine eight minus zero zero two one three. Plus zero 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 four one minus zero zero three one two. I definitely feel like I should find some better photo scenery for this area. Coas N A. And I have your limb GDA angles. Pitch five point eight six. Roll six point seven five. Your dips throttling. Five seconds at 10%. Burn the rest at 40%. Your ullage will be two jets for 10 seconds. Okay, uh, Jack, we have a P-30 uh, maneuver pad, a mid-course for free return. Now 33 Minus zero zero two one three plus zero zero four one minus zero zero three one two H A and H P and flash A. Delta V R zero zero three eight zero zero three one one two zero two nine or eight minus zero zero two one three plus zero 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 four one minus Zero zero three one two. Coas and slash A. GDA angles pitch five point eight six. Roll six point seven five. Dips throttle five seconds at ten percent. Burn the rest at forty percent. And we need a two jet ten second knowledge. That's a good read back, Fred. Uh, I'd like to verify, however, in now in eighty one. So behind us right there is Fukushima Island at our tail. And in front okay, of us uh, is Imari. Imari City. Good read back. Let's That's that city with right checklist. there. Okay, and Jack, uh, find out about using PTCA to maneuver with. Okay, uh, we're finished with the computer, it's yours, and we recommend using the TTCA to maneuver with. Roger. 
Okay, I'm back on the checklist, stage six, Jack, under things turn on. Oh, I don't really want to see uh, the plane from this side. It's definitely got a good side and a bad side. Uh, anyway, to, uh, Imari City. Okay, Aquarius, uh, negative on the uh, ping self-test, page seven. Okay, I'll scratch uh, page six, and on uh, page seven, uh, uh, we're not gonna uh, activate the, uh, or rather, we have the S-band activated. Uh, ECS activation I have all done, and at the bottom of the page, the dock time use course line is done. Roger. Seems a little bit choppy suddenly, huh? Hopefully it's just loading we some both. clouds or something. Okay, and I've also uh, completed, uh, I guess in essence, all of uh, page eight. Let me see. That's affirmative and uh, page nine to boot. Scratch VHF, we've done the TFM. Oh, something's going on. And it's something that gets loaded when this is on, but then not loaded when I turn it okay, off. Uh, well, we'll keep it off for now. We we'll probably pass it. It's probably some particular building causing a problem. And you can let's go to uh, activate our contingency page 10 and see what we do there. Okay, the only item on page 10 is to deploy the landing gear. Okay, we'll do that now. Okay, uh, the landing gear are down in lock, Jack, and uh, looking ahead now at page 11, uh, uh, we've done all of that. We verify that, uh, page 12. Okay, so the lake in front of uh, us is Omura Lake. And amongst all those numbers you pumped up, we got a rest plan and state vector. Is that correct? That's affirmative. You've got that. So you, you can uh, delete page 12. Or Omura Bay, I should say, not a lake. Go fly. It's a bay. Rod, he's got it. Hey, on 13, uh, you've uh, read us up the uh, final line angles, and uh, we've cranked those in. Affirmative. Okay, so now we're up to, uh, we got to do the DAP set and the uh, gimbal throttle test. That's. This town to our okay, right Corey, is Kawatana. The, uh, DAP set, gimbal throttle test, just make sure the... Uh, so Kawatana. Let's see if we're past uh, the problem circuit spot. Circuit breakers are closed. Seems that way. This is just one building around okay, the, proceed now with the, uh, the depth, area depth, back there. Is that correct? Or did you say delete it? Arita area. Aquarius, delete the adapt set gimbal throttle test. Just ensure that the deck of power and the deck of gimbal are closed. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, I think this little town in front of us is Sonogi. Affirmative, Jim. Close the deck of power. It's closed, we deleted that. And we can see not, uh, the Nagasaki area there. Or, I guess, Omura. Okay, also on that list, uh, Jack, we need the uh, commander throttle. Uh, and the Nagasaki the airport. Uh, Nagasaki's actually further south. The airport is higher up. Uh, it's a little bit weird <laughs> that... Uh, uh, I, maybe since we by, are uh, here a little bit the, early, uh, we should fly uh, around uh, Nagasaki the gimbals, itself uh, the before landing, but here, and, this uh, city in front of us, the big one, the right at the nose, is Omura. Stand by one. And then the island to the right there okay, is uh, Nagasaki the Airport. The, uh, DAPSET gimbal throttle test. Let's do step one. In step two, and that'll get our gimbal set. Uh, 
Roger. Okay, uh, Jack, we're going to have to back up on this. Uh, if we're going to yep. uh, follow the procedure here, uh, which has us go uh, mode control pings auto, we're going to have to uh, pull the uh, TCA breakers to keep from firing jets. And we've just got a little runway here, too. I don't know if that's sort of included Standby, in the airport or is it a separate thing. I guess. Nope, it's just included in the airport. So one runway Standby, on that Standby, island, one uh, runway on the shore. How do you like this sim? <laughs> How do you like this sim? It's a beauty. <laughs> Okay, Aquarius, we recommend you do the DAP set and gimbal throttle test as per the checklist. Go pings auto and proceed. Well, we're going to fire uh, thrusters as soon as we go to auto because we got the thrusters in. The thrusters, circuit breakers. Do you want to do that? Stop. Okay, and then having passed uh, Omura, that city in front of us is Isahaya. Okay, uh, Aquarius, we're recommending you go to auto, uh, let the... Uh, this is all part of Nagasaki Prefecture. This is Isahaya. We're in Bing's auto. Roger, you're dabbing nice set, you're in wide dead band, that ought to do the trick. Ben has some nice mountains. There's a train down there. Okay, we're looking at it, Aquarius. We're ready to proceed with the test. Okay, we're proceeding. <laughs> okay, in Houston, you, uh, you're looking at the weights now. Those are still good, right? You're going the weights. Aquarius Houston, we'd like you to recyp recycle on the DAP load and uh, change your DAP to 32021. I think there's Nagayo or Honkaw Honkawachi. This is Apollo Control. We've but that bay up front is Nagasaki. Here now in uh, Control Center showing 19 minutes, 19 seconds to ignition on the mid-course correction which would place Apollo 13 back on a free return trajectory. To recap the details of this maneuver, the ignition time would be at 61 hours, 29 minutes, 42 seconds ground elapsed time. The uh, velocity change would be 38 feet per second. Burn time, 30.7 seconds. Uh, we noticed so that we there's got Nagasaki a and it's bay. For a long but time, the only place loaded, where foreigners were allowed to do business in Japan okay. during the Tokugawa shogunate. And of course, uh, a nuke was dropped on it on August 9th, 1945. During this maneuver, using the descent propulsion system, the throttle I don't know exactly uh, where ground zero five, would be. Uh, or ten percent for the first five seconds of the burn, and throttle up for the balance of the burn at forty percent. But let's the, get uh, back GDA to the airport. The GDAs are go as they are. Press on. Okay, maybe the right side is the better looking side okay, now. Uh, <laughs> sure, glowing. Weird texture issues on the water too. Stand by one. Okay, your gimbals are uh, within three tenths, and we're ready for the dips pressurization and checkout. Okay, Houston, do you want to uh, follow up on uh, page 15 with RCS uh, checkout? 
and uh, FS uh, we've kind of uh, already done that. You right, Aquarius. Let's delete the RCS checkout. And the dips looks go. Well, let me get into the cockpit, such as it is. Hey, Ethan, we're going to do a ping flight maneuver to the attitude. Stand by on it. Aquarius, we recommend uh, driving it around there manually with a TTCA. Okay, I have, have never TTCA. flown this particular Stop. plane in this game before. I have no idea how it's going to land very well. I mean, ah, the darnest time with tail draggers as it is. Well, let's see, gear. Okay, let's get some more speed. Whoa, torque. And how do we fly? Flaps for now. Affirmative on the We're going too fast. Okay. Okay, uh, Jack, I got another question on page uh, 18. Uh, at one minute, I concur with Master Armon, but I uh, wonder why I have to have the uh, board stage breaker in. Sure don't want any stages Whatever this site in front of me is supposed to be doing, I'm a little bit suspicious of it. <laughs> oh, and great, the dials no longer are visible. That's wonderful. Aquarius, uh, delete the uh, board stage circuit breaker. Yeah, that, uh, that site is just gonna make things complicated for me. Roger, we'll delete. Okay, also, uh, Jack, since we have four jet haulage versus two, do you want uh, still want ten seconds haulage, or you want five now? Okay, Aquarius, we'll use uh, automatic haulage. Okay, we'll just let the uh, seven and a half seconds uh. auto haulage do it. Roger, and uh, we'd like to do this on manual throttle. So on uh, page 17, about two thirds of the way down, throttle control, manual, vice auto. Okay, we're set to manual. Okay, <laughs> great. This is great. Uh, what's the two or three? Enter on the 203, Jim. We got 203 on the disky dial. And what's that required for? Can we pass it? Aquarius, enter on the 203. We have entered. Okay, just roll to a stop, please. Aquarius, we'd like to verify that your throttle is in the min position. That's affirmed. And uh, in the event that you have to uh, do a manual takeover, turn the engine gimbal off, mode control to attitude hold, and use the hand use the TTCA. Roger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, making okay, donuts on the department. runway, not the greatest thing. Roger. Let's try and get off of here. Okay, master arms on. One minute. Okay. <laughs> Roger, Aquarius. And you're <laughs> Feisty go for the little thing. But here we are at Nagasaki. Next time I'll be flying the Columbia 400, which I believe 40%. is the stock one. Uh, or maybe it's a freeware one. I definitely did not buy that. 
Uh, Nagasaki to Kochi on that flight. Okay, Aquarius, you're looking good. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to set the brakes. Well, every time I set the brakes, it wants to turn like that. All right, and they've done some corrections. I'm going to pause that. And I am going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.